Passwords and sensitive information can easily be shared in your LastPass vault from all items or their categorized sections, such as with passwords. All you need to do is scroll over an item and select the Share button. Then, either choose someone to share with from the drop-down, or enter in the recipient's email address or multiple addresses with spaces in between, and then click Allow Recipient to View Password if you want the password to be visible to those you're sharing with. Then, click Share. That's it. In the Sharing Center, you'll see under Shared with Others, the item listed as Pending. As for the recipient, they'll get an email notification about the shared item, and the next time they log in, they'll see a banner notification as well. They can use the Respond Now link in the banner to accept the shared item, or from the Sharing Center, they can view under Shared With Me any pending items being shared. Here, they can accept the shared item or reject it. In this case, I'll accept it. In accepting it, I can change the name of the item if I want, as well as place it in a uniquely named folder or any available folder. Once it's saved and the item is accepted, it can be accessed under All Items or in a section that fits its category. You may need to open the folder you created to view it. If you're looking to share multiple items, check all the items you want to share under All Items or do it from a categorized section. Then, when you're ready, at the top from the Actions drop-down, choose Share. Repeat the same steps that you did before, and then Share. Back over in the Sharing Center, under Shared with Others, we'll see their pending status. You can also share individual or multiple items directly from the Sharing Center if under Shared with Others or Shared with Me. Click the big plus button, follow the previous steps, and then, from the drop-down, select the items you want to share. Repeat this for additional items to be added, or simply enter in text to search for the item you want. Once you've chosen everything you want to share, click Share. Now, when it comes to families, teams, and in this case, business users if the admin allows it, you have the option to right-click on a folder and share the entire folder. This will convert the folder into a shared folder and will also let you change the folder name before you create the shared folder. Once you're done, the folder name will be appended with shared. Then you can drag and drop additional items or remove items in the folder as necessary. You can also create shared folders in the sharing center under managed shared folders. Use the big plus button name the folder, and then click Create. Like before, it will append with Shared. If you want to add or remove items, you can click Manage Items. If there are already items in the folder, click Change Items, and then check what you want and what you don't want. When you're done, save your changes. You may need to copy some of the items for this to work. And when you're done, you'll still need to confirm it. When you're ready to share the folder, you'll want to click Manage Recipients. Like with items, invite users of groups using the drop-down, or you can enter in an email address. Set up their permissions as necessary, and once you're done, click Invite. Now when it comes to families, it works a little differently. Shared folders can only be shared between family members, and the permissions have slightly different options. But beyond that, managing items in folders is the same. Okay, well, that's it for sharing passwords in folders. For more assistance with the Sharing Center, check out support.lastpass.com.